final achieve today is making that small drawer right here into a drawer just for lipsticks and making this drawer for liquid lipsticks, pencils, and items that will not fit in a small drawer standing up. So um, does that mean that I'm going to need more to fill it in? Absolutely. So I'm going to show you guys how I created this. You definitely need a hard surface to work on. This is just a table that I've been using as a side table and I'm okay with destroying it. I don't know if you guys can see the detail of this table, but it is scratched up. So what you're gonna need is an 18 inch or 20 inch ruler at least. I recommend getting a pretty large ruler. This one's stainless steel and I picked this up at Walmart. You're also gonna need an X-Acto knife or a precision knife, a utility blade like this one. I also picked it up at Walmart. These two pencils I love for like construction or for anything to do with the house around the house. They're um, number two pencils, but you can use whatever pencils you want. I picked this two pack up at the dollar store. You're gonna need some scissors. You're going to need some foam board, and the foam board that I picked up is pretty large. It is from the dollar store, so I picked up eight of the foam boards. I lucked out finding these foam boards. I can never find them at the dollar store. I'll probably spot one or two. So I picked up eight because I did not know how many I was going to need. But for this project, you're going to need at least two or three, just in case you make any mistakes. For the drawers, I lined them up using this liner paper that I found at Walmart. And it kind of comes pre-measured in a sense where you can... Um, measure it to how you like. So this paper is 18 inches long and my Alex drawers are 20 inches in depth. So I am okay with this not reaching the back of the drawers because you can barely see them. So what I do is measure out the the width of the drawers which is 11 and a half and I cut it and I place it on the bottom. This is super easy to use. You can remove it and try again a few times till you get it right. So I really love this stuff. If you have the Alex drawers, it is pretty easy to get the measurements because all the drawers are the same width and length or depth of the drawers. So the drawers are 20 inches deep. So when you open them up, it's 20 inches in depth and width is 11 and a half inches. So anything that you measure will be already preset to the same 20 inches by 11 and a half so luckily the foam boards that i picked up were 20 inches in length as you can see i have already measured up uh some strips in a sense and these are dividers these are going to go the long way and what i did was i pre-measured them to how i wanted so i wanted the dividers no more than one and a half in inches wide because the lipsticks are about two and a half inches so i kind of wanted the lipsticks to stick out a little bit so i pre-measured eight of these this was some leftover foam board i totally recommend this is all a custom job so you measure out how you want to but i figured that the lipsticks might be a little bit easier to do because everyone pretty much has lipsticks so i need at least 10 of these one and a half um dividers so i'm just going to take the ruler and measure one and a half inches then what you do is you want to carry those measurements throughout so that way your lines are a little bit easier to make Now that I've done the lines, I'm going to take my X-Acto knife or utility knife. This is a utility knife. This one can be measured. Now, stop right here. If you are underage, get a parent to do this for you. If you're not good with knives, <laughs> go get an adult, okay? Um, definitely do not recommend using a product like this or anything sharp to, for that matter if you are accident prone. So I, the reason why I like the stainless steel ruler is because I use it to cut. I don't just go straight in and cut because I know for a fact I won't get a straight line. If you are that good, do you boo. But for me, I'm going to use the ruler as a guide to keep the blade straight. So here goes guys. Taking the remainder of the poster board, 
I'm going to go ahead and measure out 11 and a half inches. Go ahead and measure out one and a half inches for the dividers. So what I'm doing is, after I take in the one inch and a quarter, I go back in and start off from the one inch and go two inches. So it's an even inch, or almost an even inch, just about. So I'm just going in an inch and a quarter and then making sure that I move the ruler past that line and then starting again, one inch and a quarter. And you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the 20 inch ones and the same measurements. Go in a little bit farther if you're gonna be using scissors or even an exact a knife or a utility knife. You're gonna take some scissors if you have some sharper ones, that would be great. So what I do is start from the end and I kinda cut into a V because I'm using scissors, you wanna stop short and I cut into a V and I bring the scissors, I push this back. And yes, this is a sloppy way of doing it because you can use the, um, the cutter, but I prefer to do it this way. It's easier on the hands for me. So as you can see, I'm cutting like little V's. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm cutting little V's and then I'm just twisting the backs. So then that's how it looks. So the point of it is, is once you cut it, you will connect them like that. So that's the whole point of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start building it and then I will show you guys how I install it in the drawer. So there you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the drawer and fill everything up. So there you have it, this is my new poster board made lipstick holder for my Ikea drawers. I don't know if you can tell, I can't reach back here to put a lipstick in, unless it's about this size, then I can maybe. So in the end, I really only utilized 13 of the slots going upright, so you can use the space in the back of the drawers as empty space, or you can make it so it's only about 14 inches deep, so you can move it up and down however you see fit. So I organized the drawers by pretty much by color and by how many I have. So I left the ones in the back because I sit in the center of my desk. Obviously I'm not gonna be sitting over here. So these are the ones that I would reach for the most. And these are ones that I just have a few of. I have some Lime Prime, some Kat Von D, Charlotte Tilbury. I can fit two of the Bite Beauty. These are like the small ones that come in a little gift set. Um, or you can get them like at the 
when you go to pay for Sephora, you get those little lippies, which I think are awesome. So these are the ones where I have little bits of, or just one or two of. I have my Gerard Cosmetics. I have some Princess Pretty Makeup, some Jordana, Milani, Rimmel, lots of Wet n Wild, and the rest is MAC Bullets. Um, I left my limited editions up like this because I like the way they look. And I, of course, organized them by color from lightest to darkest. And that's pretty much how... I did my drawers. Now, this one with the liquid lipsticks, sorry if I showed you guys some boobage. So with the liquid lipsticks, um, I was very excited that I was able to fit my Kat Von D uh, liquid lipsticks because one, that's my favorite formulation, um, and two, they're so tall that if they stand upright, the drawer won't close. So I was very, very happy that they fit just the way they are. I have some Too Faced Melted lipsticks here, which won't fit in that drawer. And I have all my ColourPop, Anastasia, some LA Splash Cosmetics, all my Milani ones are right here. I might switch them up. I have some ColourPop lippy sticks here, which will not fit in the smaller drawer. And I have some um, Mirabella lip pencils and stuff like that, which are awesome. Those fit nice in the back. I have some Igla um, glosses. So this is going to be varying of liquid lipsticks and glosses and lipstick lipsticks that don't fit in the smaller drawer so anyway guys i'm done rambling i hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always i will see you guys in my next video bye